Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's episode. Last week, while I was in the midst of clearing out a very full apartment, um, I ended up getting a phone call from a fellow who used to be a customer at my store and said, hey, can you come on down and buy some vintage toys from me? Now, of course, those of you who watch my channel know that I do collect old toys and stuff myself. In fact, I've got a case of them right behind me there, old Hot Wheels and such, um, and they are a good seller. Uh, we had a store for many years, toy cars, trains, etc. always sold very well. And so I would never turn down an opportunity to buy something cool that we think there might be a, a market for. So I ended up with this pile. I have not gone through anything. I've seen a few of the things on the top, which looked interesting to me. Uh, the asking price for the whole pile was 500 bucks. Uh, and from what I know, the Micro Machine train set and the Indianapolis 500 set are worth about $100 each. So looking at this pile, I thought, yeah, sure, that's a no-brainer. I'm sure there's going to be at least enough to get my money back and then some out of this. But we'll find out. I have to start getting all this stuff ready to go to the auction, uh, which is where we normally take most of our stuff, Castner Auctions, uh, here in Edmonton. So... Today is sorting day. I'm going to set up a little table, I think, and then we'll start to sort through some of the stuff and see what we ended up getting. Hopefully, there's at least a few treasures in here. There usually is, but um, we'll find out. Maybe the best stuff was just on top and the rest is generic or garbage. I don't know. We'll find out. Looks to me like there must have been a train layout here at some point because we have uh, train accessories, a little diner set. Kind of cool, all HO scale. A lot of these have been built, which uh, which is fine. I mean, being in built condition means they're not gonna be overly valuable, but um, so you can actually really decorate these up nice. They're a cool little addition if you have 187 scale uh, vehicles, and of course to be used as a train set. Uh, so this box, looks like it's mainly train buildings and accessories which albeit cool uh not terribly expensive but that's okay that's just one box down we'll get that set aside well this next box looks a little bit more promising it's got some more weight to it we have very outdated toy price guide good for reference either way even if it's outdated we have Revel, looks like brochures, and some toy cars. Now, when it comes to looking at toy cars, a majority of just your regular sort of Hot Wheels kind of cars are maybe worth like a buck or two. Uh, what you're looking for are vehicles that are a little bit more specialized. Well, there's a nice uh, 1970s little Tonka truck with its Indianapolis race car still in the back. That's actually kind of cool. See, that would sell on its own, probably about uh, $25 to $35 or, or up maybe, but that's a good piece on its own. Some little tanks and accessories. I'll set this little bag aside. Oh, cool. This is a, a vintage Corgi uh, from the 70s. Hero of Heroes. And it's got Starsky and Hutch and Batman. So the vehicles inside are not old, but uh, I actually collect Corgi cars. Oh, wait, there's a Redline Hot Wheels case too. Uh, that case will certainly be a nice addition to my own collection because I collect old Corgi toys and old Hot Wheels. And so uh, even though the cars inside might not be as old as I'd hope, the cases are, and that's perfect. Maybe I'll find some older cars in here. We can saddle them back up. What is this? Daihatsu Takara Tomi, still in this little box. These are actually very detailed, um, sort of a higher end little die cast vehicle. We'll set that aside. 
And we have, that looks like a micro machine train track. See, this is a little bit more of a, a collector die cast. So it's Richard Petty's uh, Daytona. Or I guess the Superbird. Doesn't have rubber tires, but it's a little bit better detail. Okay. And we've got a little frog piggy bank for good measure. Goofy 60s or 70s kind of thing. <laughs> somebody would probably like that, though. It's just that kind of stuff. There's always somebody who's interested in it just because it's kind of cute and different. Okay, well, I'm going to go through the rest of this box and try and pull um, some items together here. It looks like there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of NASCAR, a lot of little NASCARs in here. Those weren't, uh, those weren't inexpensive. I mean, to buy it, those brand new, especially when you get into the Superbirds and stuff. Those are a little bit more collectible. Okay, it looks like I have some sorting to do. There's even some action figures in here too. Just looks like a kid's toy box almost. And some cute little things. Missing its, uh, oh, it was a fridge magnet, it looks like. Not anymore. Okay, we'll get this sorted out into piles. I'll put all the NASCAR together in a lot, and, and we'll see what we got here. At the bottom of the box, we have this little wooden painted Royal Canadian Air Force uh, wall plaque. There was a 1972 US dollar and a vintage Calgary Stampede coin. If you're into bus and Broncos and all that kind of stuff, that's kind of a neat thing. So, a few little surprises at the bottom there. Okay, well, these are all sorted into lots of 10. Those can go off to the auction. 10 assorted NASCARs, 10 assorted NAS trucks, etc. We got the train stuff. Um, this bin looks like it's more cars, but we've got some 124 scale. Nice little Chevy wagon with the surfboards on the roof. Uh, Bentley, is that a Continental GT? Bentley Continental convertible, yeah, in 118 scale. And then there's a few of these really odd little European cars in 143rd scale that you just really don't see too often. What is this, a Willys? Willys Aero 2500, yeah, that's an oddball die cast. So those are kind of fun. And then we have the Johnny Lightning. These were higher end, well, this reminds me of the car, that is the same type of car I pulled out of the bush with Charlie. Um, these are a little bit better. And so any that have the rubber tires, the heavy metal base, those are going to be a little bit more collectible, you know, sort of in the $10 up kind of range, potentially. I'm not saying that's what, it, what it's going to go for, but they're a little better. So we'll set those aside. Um, I guess I'll create a little space on the counter for them. And then the earlier Blackwall uh, 1980s Hot Wheels, Datsun 200SX. That goes in my vintage category. Everything just has to get sorted out. So I'm going to carry on, get everything sorted out, and uh, see what we have here. All right, dusting a few things off, getting a lot of stuff sorted and ready to go. My pile's getting smaller, which is great. A couple things that I found were interesting in there. This is a uh, plastic Volvo, classic Volvo. Uh, it's not die cast. Um, this would have been likely like a dealer promotional model. It says it's made in Finland. Um, really kind of strange, really kind of unusual. Probably uh, maybe worth 30, 40 bucks to somebody who has a car like this, but I've not seen one quite like this before. It is missing its back bumper though, unfortunately. But uh, this weird kind of oddball stuff always seems to sell. And yes, there are a lot of cars and stuff in here. However, this box looks like it's mainly sports cards and stuff, which... Be excited to go through. What's this? Sculpture. Made in Quebec. Folk art. Well, that's a nice little folk art uh, Quebec hand-painted uh, wooden carving. That's actually really cool. And it looks like there's two of them, and they're actually signed by the artist, too. A little man and lady. How's it going? Oh, pretty good. <laughs> I don't know what they would, they, I'm assuming they, they know each other. They've been together for a long time. Cool set. And um, oddly, there was a, uh, like a 1940s or 50s Hummel figurine lamp made in West German. So that'd be 1950s. 
you know, somebody's going to think that's neat too. So finding all kinds of other interesting stuff mixed in here, which is usually the case. Uh, I'm going to go through these sports cards and see if there's maybe anything good. There might be a good rookie card in there. Who knows? I can see there is a 1992 uh, Blue Jays World Series baseball. Uh, so maybe there'll be a few other surprises in the mix. Well, the sports cards didn't yield any surprises. Just a lot of common cards and various different uh, types of sports, hockey, basketball mainly. Uh, there was a sealed box of 1991 CFL football cards in there, a framed picture of a 1935 Hillman Imp, which is kind of odd, a whole, almost a whole set of 1990 NASCAR cards. Uh, so some things that I can sell and put away. I have everything pretty much inventoried and ready to go off to auction. So this whole shelf will get cleaned up here, hopefully later today. And uh, I guess we'll see what stuff goes for. Uh, this came out of a different lot that I had, but I figured it was time to put it out. These are all uh, vintage 1950s Lego cars. And yes, at one point, Lego made toy cars to go with their play sets. So you build the building and you have these little cars to drive around. So uh, those are pretty nifty. I'll put those out as a whole lot um, since we've got some vintage Lego going through this auction as well. But uh, some treasures as usual. Um, I'm sure I'll make my money back on this stuff. I don't think this is a home run by any means, but, um, you know, it's nice to kind of get some fresh stuff in and, and you take a risk every once in a while and see what things go for. Uh, I have high hopes that the, uh, micro machine powertrain city should do all right. And it's completely packed full of trains and accessories and all kinds of other toys. So that there's good value there for somebody. So I hope you enjoyed today's kind of little walkthrough of these toys. I'm off to the auction house to go take that stuff in. As for me, I did find a little uh, red line case. Um, no cars inside, no red line cars, but maybe I'll find some to go in there eventually. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. We shall see you all soon. This auction is happening uh, May 27th, so um, fairly soon. Um, I'm going to try and get all this stuff out and ready to go. But uh, off to work I go. We shall see you guys soon. And as always, bye for now. Bye, guys.